reservation or guest relation ya. Yeah. Oke, okay. who's recording? I think it's Jing record, right? Oke, okay. thank you. Ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, so we started first. Uh, we focus on the Trello management right now. So can you scroll down and then the first one is from Tendi, Property Quality Control. Please give update to us about your campaign. Okay, thank you Om Rafiq. So for uh, update of my campaign, uh, since last week uh, I have other focus uh, uh, to finishing the implementation in Nusa Penida, also arrange the welcoming program there and then uh, creating the content for the video so last week uh, i didn't have any uh, much update uh, so i have been visit one uh, only pro one property for inspection and then three property has been applied in Nusa Penida that's uh, Kukuh and Madeira uh, before uh, photo shoot yesterday uh, Emil already got to Nusa Penida for photo shoot uh, and then For the host rule and protocol, uh, health protocol written has been sent to Kuku Panida, Madeira, and also an its resident. And then for the friction, uh, there is no friction so far. Uh, and then the, ex the next action plan is, uh, I would like to create an easy system for the record the inspection. Uh, currently, I still uh, try using the Google form uh, with automatic score for the inspection. So uh, when we are doing the inspection, Uh, we can just using the phone uh, with the Google form so we can just take a picture and then we can put the the quality of that uh, things for example like uh, it's uh, medium uh, good or bad like that so and then the score will be automatically uh, record then after we, we do the inspection so uh, just make it easy uh, rather than we uh, we we back to the like this pa the paper uh, to put any everywhere here So we can just use the that system and from the Google form like that. Okay, back to Om Rafik. Okay, thank you, Tendi. Can you open the property quality control form, form first? Oh, the form, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like this. Okay. okay. Scroll down. Okay, the first one. Uh, if any any question for this form first, can you scroll down a little bit, Nicholas Tendi? Yeah. But uh, this this form is not uh, finished yet, Om. So because I need to put all the instrument uh, from this uh, what's called uh, a requ a requirement like a bedroom, room, everything. So, jadi masih di sampai di general, still on okay. general, yeah, not finished yet. Okay. Uh, I think what is your uh, next? What is called the property you need to persuade or want to meet maybe you can put it over there so maybe yes. yeah for example like i i have one so i will today i will going to prama beach mm -hmm. and maybe you can put it there and i will put uh, the result later on the form maybe can you make it the form today Candy? so uh today uh i don't think i can finish it today so uh, oh, because mm -hmm. uh i I need to arrange some score and then everything on the form. So I think you can just do the like a previous uh, flow first, like uh, yeah. this. Uh, so you can just take a picture and then uh, you can uh, document it here first. Okay, thank you. So I think that is from me. If another <laughs> member want to have a comment or feedback, please raise your hand. If not, I will skip it the next trello card three two one okay yes asa okay sorry for the last minute uh oh, no problem. okay maybe uh got tende i like to ask uh so the minimum score is 80 if i'm not mistaken yeah 80. um okay so what if the property partner the property doesn't uh has already passed the 80 mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do we think do we need to maximize it to 100 like to have the complete score for the property or 20 is enough so we don't have to complete another um what is it checklist yeah so basically uh the scoring uh, um uh, the scoring uh method is uh to make easier us uh To prioritize 
the property asa. So oh. if we if we got the the property if our current property is uh, the score is under 80 so that's uh, we know like uh, which property that we need to taking care first like that. So if the property is uh, above 80 I think that's uh, okay uh, to accept the guess but if the property is under 80 like um, fermacy and everything then uh, that's uh, what we need to concern we, we need to focus on like that to improve them to to, to transform them. Oh, so it's more like to make prioritization for the you know the the taking care of the property. Yeah, so we we can have this uh, all the same uh, same the property have the uh, standard ACT like that. Mm. So this is not uh, for the selection like uh, on the business development. Uh, I I believe on the business development the name is, is MKL right? Mm -hmm. MKL for selecting the selecting the partner. Uh, but this is our current partner, so. Uh, What we want is we transform the partner or improve the partner quality, uh, property like that. Okay, thank you, Kak Kendi. Yeah. Okay, you. is this clear, Asa? Okay, thank you. Next, uh, maybe another members. <coughs> Lilis, Belisa, Rose, all good. Oh yeah, Omar Vick. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I would like to ask a question. Um, yeah. Omar Vick, where do you usually see the refuse now? Because the refuse complete is uh, different, right? It's it's hard for me to tracking currently. Yeah, the the first one I always see it on the dashboard on bigger, right? Uh -huh. So that is that is the 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 most easy one if you're going to dashboard and you can see the chapter there. Chapter on the right side, yeah. But it's not what is called updated. Mm. But mostly if I want to see it, I just go around to all account, right? Or if you see it on the, if I'm not mistaken, on Slack, they have a review and complain, right? On the Slack, so it's yeah. not updated, it's only re reminding, reminder. Yeah, yeah, reminder for the, what is called to BP to give review to the guests. Okay. That is, so that so is you idea. currently you see on bigger, yeah, Om, yeah? Yes. For negative, okay, okay then I will use that for the uh, current best practice, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Next, uh, anything else? Maybe from Jin for the property quality control. Okay, all good. Okay, next to my card, can you open it, Tendi? That is my update. Scroll down a little bit. Yeah, this is the update. Yeah, I get five partner, so. Sign contract, thanks God. So, so Puri Kelapa, they agree to give 30 room instead of 31. So they need one spare in case to to have a direct booking or something. And then Sambu, Gria Ase, and Warisan, they have a, that this notification. And total contract that I make until yesterday is 131, increasing 10% from last week. And then that I send is 129. And total partner is renewing contract until yesterday is 96. You can see on the uh, Google sheet over there. And then the prediction, this is, I want to maybe give to the floor. So the prediction is yesterday I call uh, Pak Sukawiata, if I'm not mistaken, at the uh, Pula Bodas. Pula Bodas have one year guest right now. And they're planning to sell their property. Uh, if they the, the property is sold, they will stop the partnership. But if no buyer, they will continue with us. So far, the, the contract is still pending uh, for after the guest check out. Uh, what do you think? That is that is the, the prediction for me. And then the second one, the, the last one is the action plan. The action plan is regarding the Pila Bodas. I will meet Pila Bodas on Thursday, uh, Pak Wiata, to, to make, make it clear about the decision. And then the second one is continuing pursuit. And then, The third one is, I hope this is a good sign. Is Katie is, is at Jakarta right now. He's coming to Bali on Thursday. He want to meet me. Maybe he want to planning to rejoin with. Uh, that is uh, what is called answer your question, Jing. So this is the the what is called the the partner already turn over and want to rejoin with. Maybe it's freezing, I think. 
Hello. Yes, Om. Can Hello. you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yeah, I think it's uh, need uh, what is called answer from its member regarding the friction that I got. Maybe from Rospers. What do you think about that? From I think for me, uh, it's not yet uh, okay. Okay, maybe from Asa. What do you think, Asa? I think we need to know the reason why they plan to sell their property. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Pelisa, can you write down there on the card? So I have a, what is called, note. Oh, yeah, yeah, asking uh, to the, yeah, because you are the secretary, right? Yes, I, I'm writing yeah. right now. Okay. Thank you for the input. So I will answer it later when I meet the partner, yeah? And then maybe Lilis. Or, oh, Teddy first, Teddy. Yeah. Okay, first. Thank you, Om. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, thank you, Om. Yeah, so uh, the Villa Bodas want to sell the property, right? And then... Yeah. Yeah, I think we can also uh, follow up if they sell a property. Maybe for the the new owner, they they, they still want to use us as uh, their management. But uh, we need to know what is the the purpose of the new owner buy this villa. Is it for rent or for the stay like that? So I think um, by that we can still uh, have that the asset. Yes, thank you. That is. Uh, actually, that is my action, next action. That's, thank you, Tendi, for the input. Anything uh, else, Tendi? Yeah, maybe for the Katy, uh, I think we need to, uh, what's called, to, to know first, uh, like uh, previously, uh, when they, they finish the resign, uh, the, uh, our contract uh, for the partnership, what is their reason like that? And then what is their feedback uh, to us? Like, and then, uh, maybe when they they want to join with us, uh, we need to make it clear like uh, what is our new uh, current system, and then how is how we uh, manage the guests because uh, currently we are mostly online, right? And then not like uh, previously is uh, there's a host going there. I yes. think we need to make it that clear first to Katie uh, to make sure there is no miscommunication when uh, they they rejoin with us, yeah, like that, and then. Uh, also, we need to make sure uh, what's called the the which uh, which packet that they, they will uh, the Katie will 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 take it with us because we have uh, I believe we have some uh, packets new with the business development. Okay, thank you, Dendi. Uh, can you write down that one, Kalisa, so I can follow up? It. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, right to Lilis maybe. I think Mr. Chi wants to speak. Do you want to go first? Oh, go to Lilith first. Lilith first. I'll, I'll, I'll get to the conclusion, yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, for the case of Villa Boras, uh, I would agree with Asa. Perhaps, I'm not really sure what is the, I mean, uh, the ca where is the capital coming from? If it is uh, come from the debt, that would be reasonable if they want to, uh, hutang, if they mm. want to sell it. It's, uh, it's reasonable. But if it's like a free investigation, uh, no debt inside it, perhaps we can still uh, persuade them to stay uh, with uh, explaining what is our strategy basically for um, promoting the villa. And if it is actually uh, sold out later on, uh, I would agree with Tandy to approach the new uh, owner basically. And for Kitty, for the SK9, uh, yes. I think we need to uh, ident like we need to ask why they are coming back. What is good and what is bad in our, our service? Of course, I think if they want really want to get back to uh, uh, join us back, there is a good uh, service that we have. And what highlight is we need uh, what is the highlight that we need to take a note? Uh, the partner of boarding program is also important in this case because it improves our engagement even they are not in our system so i think this is a note for ross uh to really uh, conduct the offboarding program if there is a partner that wants to onboard with us um 
yeah i think that that's the only thing that i would like to uh say thank you on my feedback too okay thank you lily so i will little bit answer before before i going to jing so why is kathy is calling me because the first one kathy family is over there right it's no guest so the kathy family is over oh, there so so it's no guest over there so but his family is already back to switzerland already so that's why uh, kathy will going there on thursday and want to meet my me and i will tell what is the pro and the cons right now and then about the what is uh Tandy said and also really said what is the the packet and everything so thank you for the input and i will update it our after i meet Katie uh, on Thursday. Thank you. Maybe from Jing for the last. Okay, there's a few things. One, yeah. I wonder why Kathy isn't part of our Facebook community group, right? And why she wants to meet offline. So this is an example of a person who's already considering or reconsidering to to connect with Booker Vista. So imagine if this person had been following our community updates, would they have been more persuaded to actually rejoin sooner? And are there other potential property partners that are also undergoing like a similar process right now that we are not reaching? So I think we need to be proactive in the sense that if we do detect that there's one person, SK9, rejoining us for this particular reason, then we have to keep in mind that there's two possibilities. One, within the existing community, there are other people who are also considering rejoining. Um, let's say the existing community meaning the people who have actually left Book of Vista but are considering mm -hmm. coming back. It's probably a lot of those, right? And the other one is, are there anybody else who has never been a Book of Vista partner who is also undergoing a similar thought process at this moment? What is it maybe about this timing that could be an indication of the timing might be correct to start uh, collecting partners back? Okay, so that, that I think would be my first instinct. The second thing is, this is good, actually what's happening with, uh, with Pop Bodas right now. Because we are detecting a, a potential person who might be offboarding really early. Okay. So before we would probably know maybe weeks or days before they would offboard, but now they're giving us a heads up. So whatever you guys are doing in community, it's working and you should congratulate yourself, I think, on this. Early detection means that now we have resource. We have time to make a plan, we have time to execute a plan to make this work out. So I believe what Asa and uh, Lilith has directed is a correct course of action, but I also see an opportunity here. This is the opportunity. Now, when this person sells their particular property, it can go either way, right? It can go in a way that the new person chooses to work with Book of Vista, or it can go in the way that they do not work with Book of Vista. If the owner wants to really sell the property, so this is Asa, after we've done the research and figured out that, okay, they want to sell the property, there's nothing we can do about that, I think we should empower them to sell the property with the help of Book of Vista, right? Can you imagine like, okay, if somebody wants to, let's say buy a property, it is much nicer if there's already a management around that property, hmm? if, if that's the case. So I think that can be actually a, uh, instead of kind of waiting for the owner to sell, I think we can get proactive and be like, okay, if you wanna sell this, why don't we help you market it too as well, right? We can say, hey, look, you know, there's a property available, Book of Vista is a management. We can provide them marketing materials adding like Book of Vista's management, you know, so that they can circulate that. Um, if we sell it, we get a commission as well, right? So that's even better. Um, and and, and that, that, that could be quite a lot more than what we make on rentals. So the way I would frame this is if we do go down the pathway to sell, let's be proactive in helping the owner sell with the support of Book of Vista because that's part of positive transformation instead of being passive and waiting for whatever to happen and then meeting a stranger. Wouldn't it be better if we actually met our future owner first, right? Mm, so yes. think about it that way. Okay, that's that's my two bits. Okay, thank you, uh, Jing, for the touch. Maybe, uh, Pelisa, you can get the conclusion from Jing and the others. You can put it there and I will replay it soon. And also I'll bring to Katie and also Pak Wiata regarding what is your thoughts. Thank you. Uh, if no anything else, we can move to the next campaign. Can Tandy, can you open Tandy uh, uh, screen? Okay, going to the partner satisfaction survey. It's going to Ross. Please Okay, so uh, the last week performance is Ross. Uh, 
59% of the total partner uh, contact have filled out the survey. Uh, only one partner uh, last week uh, filled the survey, and 60% total partner feedback has been complete by related chapter. I think uh, Patendi can open the paper. The PSS analysis. Oh, mana? Yang uh, in source, source. Uh, uh, let me share screen aja kak ya. Yeah. Okay. This. Okay. So I already follow up uh, BI uh, and already done about Maharaja feedback and I follow up BI uh, uh, group Patricia. BI uh, still do a uh, testing stake with Agoda to know about the OT, this OTM performance because our several our partners want to get a uh, booking from local guests. Uh, so they want uh, their property also sell in local OTA. And we try uh, to Agoda and we'll and still waiting for BI uh, updates. And for marketing chapter, uh, uh, marketing already uh, do a good performance and uh, boost the promotion about uh, this property, the several property in Facebook and Instagram. And, and yeah, uh, and it's, and it's a good result and also uh, from HAR uh, yeah thank HAR because uh, when uh, partners want to do on-site uh, hosting uh, I try to discuss with Andre HAR uh, how the online hosting performance and I give it uh, to partners again to discuss about it and yes uh, partner says that online hosting uh, for now is uh, good yeah I think there is from me uh, about the analysis survey paper and uh, can you trail uh, okay. Yes, Ross. Yeah, uh, yang uh, final update. Uh, but uh, my fiction is not fiction yet. And this week, action plan continue to follow up area managers to remind partner to fill out survey. And also uh, follow up related chapter to implement uh, nine feedbacks from our partners. And this witness, this witness day, uh, Chris already uh, contact me that uh, he agreed to do vlog uh, on this witness day with Andre and also Master Andre. Yeah, that is from me. Yeah, anything from other member want to have a comment or feedback? Uh, I have uh, questions. Yes, yes, there is. Yeah. Uh, Ross, uh, I'm not really sure whether you already do it or not, but I have questions. For example, uh, there is a feedback from partner that you uh, already know the answer. Do you answer it directly or you still wait for the related chapter to answer it? Uh, I So I talk to partner about how how the chapter are uh, doing uh, right now. So the update not like uh, discussion uh, about agreement to join Agoda, uh, not talking about it. Uh, I still. I talk to partner that uh, maybe uh, part, uh, you can wait for uh, the next update from me. I just saw the our our work like that. And no, uh, I mean if you already know the answer, mm -hmm. uh, do you tell directly the partner like the answer like what is no group no? chapter uh, Why chapter. is that? Why don't you direct uh, directly tell the partner if you really know the answer? Uh, about the pricing and also about uh, agreement with like about 
uh, local uh, OTA, I ask BI to to discuss with with partner because I didn't understand about pricing. No, no, no. I mean, if you know the answer, if you know, kalau kamu tahu. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if I know, uh, I just directly to talk with partner touch. Okay, so uh, if you already done that, that's actually great. And what I would like to, I mean, uh, the continuation of this question, uh, if you already coordinate with the BI team and etc., you already know the answer like right now. And for example, in the future, we have the same problem. Uh, I think you can uh, learn about how we can manage that uh, right now. And it can be uh, the source of your knowledge on how to answer the partner in the future. So that's what I want to say to you. And if uh, the answer that you already know, even it is about the other chapter, that's really great if you already deliver it directly to the partner. Yeah. And uh, this yeah. the can be a source of your knowledge uh, to later on uh, give uh -huh. feedback basically to the partner. Do you get it, Josh? Yeah, I get it. Sir. Okay, thank you. I think that's for me, on Rafik. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Lilis, for the advice and also comment for this one. I hope yeah. Ross can make a note for that one. Maybe from Asa, do you have a comment or advice for us? Yeah, all good. Belisa? Good. Okay, I think I see Jenna here, right? Jenna, welcome, Jenna. I'm sorry, I cannot yes, see you. your your face because I use only one screen, so I need to share the uh, screen. It's okay. okay. It's okay. If, yeah, if you need to uh, want to talk, just uh, you want you are here for observe or you want to? Oh yeah, just observing. Don't okay. Worry about me. Yeah. Okay. If you want to speak, just just uh, raise your hand. Yeah, Jenna. Okay, Ken. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe from Jing, do you have any advice or comment from this guy? No, I think that's actually a good uh, point that Lilisa brings out. Um, it's a case of be the hero, take the initiative to actually speak um, rather than waiting to delegate. So no, that was good. Okay, thank you. If not any comment, again, I will go into the next chart about the social media engagement from Pelisa. Sweet moment, a little bit. Uh, okay. Okay, Pelisa, please update your campaign here. Okay, can you uh, scroll down a little bit more? I have. Yeah, this one? Uh, uh, enough? Yeah, uh, scroll down, down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Previous updates on 25th of June. 25th of June. Okay. Yeah, that one. Okay. okay. So um, uh, I created like a bunch of segments, right, for our social media campaign. Um, but then I realized that some of them are actually pretty similar to the BV newspaper. And so I did pairing with the BV newspaper team and I decided to make uh, like a co-segment called the BV News Flash. And here are the differentiation factors is that um, in BV newspaper, we provide uh, data from our internal teams, right? We provide statistics on how we are doing. Meanwhile, in BV News Flash, we are just gonna provide the news about the general industry and probably like uh, intrigue discussions on uh, our plan and how to deal with it and how uh, like how we can uh, set like an expectation for them regarding the industry uh, and then it would also be shorter in length also an in amount of information and then the graphic design and visualization will be in a form of animated images to make it more interesting and it will be posted every Tuesday according to schedule starting July 2021 and yeah the details are available on the content planning paper and then i also removed the tgif segment to make room for beefy newspaper and then also because um, the marketing team also already have content for that mm, and then we would also like uh, for the beefy newspaper to be in a form of video hosted by mr jing uh, as an effort to further introduce our company to our community because from the last scrum we realized that uh some of them aren't really familiar with uh, like the top management of our company. So it, this would be a really nice way to uh, introduce our company to them, to our community. So yeah, uh, maybe we have like uh, feedbacks from the other members. 
or any questions regarding this update first? Okay, uh, Felicia, this is your update on 25th, right? Yeah. Okay, can you update it uh, on this week probably? Okay. What for... is your next planning and what is your next action, for example? Okay, so uh, I did post it a flashback Friday, like last Friday. And then uh, I tried to, I, I look at the at the insight and the analytics and then I found that views tend to be higher when uh, contents are posted by Katendia and Omrafik because uh, I believe they're the admins that the community knows personally. Um, and then I also did a few research on the members of our Facebook community. So I like view their profile on their Facebook page to like see if they're, whether or not they're actually active on Facebook. So yeah, and then I found that uh, almost half of them are not really active in Facebook. Um, so yeah, I get a conclusion. It's not that they don't like to engage with our content. It's just that they, they don't like to interact in Facebook altogether. And then I also found that um, the property owners are not businessmen, right? They're different with like people that are actually passionate about the business. The fact that they're property owners and that they use our services to manage their property means that they are passive income getters. So that's probably why they don't really like to read that much or interested in contents that uh, provide details about the industry, even if it is actually very insightful. Um, and then, yeah, I also found that the active ones on our Facebook page are uh, either narcissists, and I don't mean this in a bad way, I mean that they post a lot about themselves and they update their profile pictures a lot, so maybe if we create more contents that like showcase their profile to our community, that would actually intrigue them to like interact with us, like put them on a pedestal of some sort. And then, yeah, we, uh, and then the other half use their personal page to like sell goods and like I saw some of them sell vape and cosmetics and all of that. So yeah, the frictions uh, is still the same. They, we have a pretty passive audience. Uh, and then, yeah, my action plan is to actually proceed with the schedule first and then see how it goes, like, by the end of the month. And then, yeah, I, I'm planning to, like, update the contents in the Trello board that I also created uh, to manage the contents uh, so that it doesn't overlap with the marketing team. And, yeah, I'm, I'm planning to find the community members that are actually passionate about this industry. Like, we have, like, uh, Pak Indra, right? He, we actually got referrals from him. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying like to do background checks on our most active members and like trying to find whether uh, any of them actually have mutuals that, are, that might be interested in us. So we can really try to target those people first. So yeah, that's, that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the update, Pelisa. Maybe from I quite understand about this one. So maybe from the others, we have any comment or advice for Pelisa? Yeah. From I think Jing, right? Jing, Jing, right? Yeah, Felicia, yeah. thank you. Thank you. I think that is truly a breakthrough. I think that is truly a breakthrough. So we've been I feel like I feel like we've been kind of you know trying to spin around, spin around, trying to understand what it was about our content strategy that wasn't working and and such, but uh, we finally got an idea of who the people we're talking to are. So I think you should encapsulate what you just said and put it somewhere where, where nobody will forget it, right? The breakdown of what you just did, I think was terrific. Um, that being said, uh, that that's the way I think every new engagement strategy should begin. We should understand something about what is it about the audience that we're trying to speak to. And maybe it's not something wrong with us. Maybe, maybe yeah, you like, like, Felicia just said, maybe they're not business people. Maybe they don't engage on Facebook. Maybe it's it's so we shouldn't beat ourselves over the head and keep on trying to make better content. Maybe we should find better ways of, of like she suggested, put them on a pedestal, talk about something that they are interested in, or <coughs> suggest a topic that they would abundantly like to talk about. Um, that could be a way to, to stimulate the community engagement. One thing I want to just remind everybody on, a lot of what happens with community doesn't necessarily even need to be about business. Okay, it doesn't even need to be about business. I saw this one time. I'll, I'll share, share a short anecdote, right? Uh, once upon a time, I was invited to Singapore when I was working there to just come to an event. So it was there was no business talk at all, right? It was just come down. Um, we're going to pay for sate and beer for everybody who shows up, right? And I wasn't even sure who we were, who, who, who was organizing. But anyway, what happened was uh, there was like a few hundred 
like basically people who were expats working in Singapore and we just all went down to this, this traditional marketplace and we had satay and beer. We just started talking to each other actually. And later on, I asked the event organizer, I was like, are you going to give a speech or talk about what you want us to do? No, he said, that's enough. I was like, really? That's enough just to have us get together to talk? Yeah. Uh, we have a community now, right? You, you wouldn't have met all these other people had you not have come. I was like, I, I just fucked around. I didn't really do anything. I just drank beer. And, and, and he said, yeah, that's, that's okay, right? That's what we want. Um, subscribe to our email. We'll give you the next update when we're going to do this again. So that way I thought was a very forward way of actually raising community. Get everyone together on something that they all can sort of agree on and then gradually introduce ideas and things that you want to, you know, to message the community. But, uh, but yeah, it, it kind of, we might try that, I think, as an approach, right? What is it that everybody can agree on? Do we all agree that, let's say, nasi goreng is delicious, right? Let's just maybe start with that. And, 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 and you, can, you can kind of generate that. Like a networking session. Yes, correct. Like a networking session. The other thing uh, that I was going to say is I, I see a convergence. Can I share my screen real quick, everyone? Uh, I see yes, yes, convergence please. on different chapters approaching, like, I think a similar content strategy now. Because I think there's probably a lot of people thinking about content strategy. This is a new recent update on our Instagram page. I saw this by accident. I was just kind of scrolling and I saw, oh, this is really interesting, right? So this is like a whole layout of different topics of how to do remote work. And it's, it's laid out. You can lay this out in a newspaper. You can lay this out in you know, a PDF. This layout has been chosen to fit on Instagram um, for a particular audience. I think this is inspirational though. I think the idea of really understanding what is the core message and then personalizing it through different channels, through different timing to different audiences is, is something that is uh, getting stronger and actually more, more incredible here in the company. I don't know if this will be of any inspiration to let's say uh, Felicia's project, right? But it could give you some direction with layouts, um, topics, or just how to, I, I thought this graphically was very appealing. Um, is most of our owners probably don't use Instagram. Maybe this isn't the best way to do it, but you can take this framework and I think apply it to a different message and then distribute it through a channel that owners are more likely to consume. Okay, that's it. Uh, back to the chair. Okay, thank you, Jing. Uh, I think it's Jenna is comment, right? Like networking session. Can you describe about that? Oh, so it's like similar to what Jing said just now. It's just that because they are all business owners, right? So I would assume that their main, for businesses, their main priority would be to network, I guess. So like networking sessions might um, interest them more, basically just getting to know one another more and like forming connection, that kind of thing. Okay, thank you, Jenna. I think it's same like what we do at Changu before, Jing, if I'm not mistaken. So. We just talk each other, they, yep. they, they talk each other, right? They think drink beer like that. So yep. the community is like that, right? So, yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, maybe from another, with no question, I will next to the next came in. Okay, no, next. Just wait no one. Okay, the last campaign is from Asa. Just wait. Can okay, Asa, please okay. update your campaign. Okay, thank you, Omar Fake. And yeah. yeah, here's the update. So, just uh, this morning, I had discussion with Jenna, that's why she is here as well, and Vera regarding the collaboration of BBC Talk and BVE Talk. And when Jenna attended CM Scrum last week, she felt that one way to have long term engagement with community expert. It could be through interacting these CEs with students from other universities, and Wi-Fi can be a bridge. Basically, it's something similar to Wi-Fi Talk, which does brought about this idea. And for the next action plan is to try to conduct this collaboration of Wi-Fi Talk and eTalk to work on long-term engagement with our CEs and conduct pairing with Omrafik for using Eversign because I haven't got the access uh, last week. And maybe Jenna, would you like to add something regarding to our discussion this morning? Um, not really. I think so far you got everything there. 
Okay, and yeah, so this is the update for PVC Talk. Back to okay. you. Thank you, Asa. Uh, but now, can you use Eversign right now? I have actually logged in, but I haven't tried it out. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, if you have any problem, just contact me. Huh? Yep, yep. Okay, thank you. That is from Asa. Maybe you have any comment or advice from members? Maybe from, yes, who's raised uh, 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 Rose. Uh, Ross, okay, Ross. Uh, I just want to ask to ask Jenna. I still didn't understand why you uh, says that uh, to get long-term engagement is collaboration with CEN uh, students for the other universities. Uh, yeah. So in a way, it's like um, Buki Vista is kind of like the bridge. So we have the students here, and we have the com the CE here. So like the bridge between them is like us. So like in a way, there might be times where like but the CEs will like talk up to us and then like we can bring in like other universities. This is to like increase long-term engagement because it can benefit the CEs as well. If like they want to create awareness for what they are doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Community expert is uh, still about related to property, right? Uh, like, yeah, I or guess property also, but because some of the things is actually related for general topics. Like, for example, mm. for our C talk, we're doing on sustainability. Like, we have community experts about sustainability, but it can oh, also God. be shared to students, like, what do they do which makes things sustainable in our industry, for example? I'm going to thank you, Jenna. Yeah, welcome. Okay. Thank you, Jenna. So as a, I get this uh, point from Jenna, I think it's community expert is not only the property owner, exactly. So ev everyone is there. So like uh, if they are architect, they are even though student, even though driver you can you can you can talk with them what is the the experience what this that is that is i get from jenna it's not only the high person right but you you can also talk with the the what is your somebody that you think can share the knowledge that 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 is my my point that jenna want to say right so okay that is maybe from asa or yeah, yes, Lilis, yes, Lilis. Uh, I have questions actually for Jenna and Asa. Uh, uh, who's controlling the screen? Om Rafi, yeah. Can you go yes, up yes. the funnel update? So my question is uh, actually uh, with bringing students to be the uh, uh, audience basically for the C talk, uh, how it can support the output that we need? Um, apa outputnya? I think uh um can you show notification show more in the description panelnya yeah that's show full description wait, 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 wait. my script is blank. One. yeah uh so i think okay. the output that we need is um the partnership of course is before uh, we uh go to the audience uh uh, uh, the output is potential lead and also the backlinks. Uh, do you think the audience will support this output, like the and also uh, service used by the property partner? Right, that's the output for this uh, campaign. Uh, how do you think the additional audience can help uh, improve the output? Last first, I think. I think uh, from this collaboration, Jenna's proposed is to create engagement, not in this actually particular backlink and uh, yeah, I think not uh, regarding to the backlink, but maybe we can also ask for, uh, maybe can create more ex exposure for the awareness of the, what is it, community expert services to the students as well. So yeah, it's not directly connected to this, uh, transformation um what is it aspects here Kalilis. so uh if you and you if your answer is like that i think it's actually e uh, e -talk. it's not c talk 
uh, I mean, yeah, because uh, the C talk output is potential leads and also uh, backlinks to get more uh, leads specifically from that, and also the service can be used by the property partner. Uh, how we can improve the C talk itself? Yeah, that's that's okay. It's improving the the E talk, right? Uh, to how to get the audience from the uh, potential interns, basically, but how we can improve the C talk itself. Uh, it the concern is not there. I, I don't see that the concern is the sit talk anymore. I think. Uh, I think it's the uh, Yeah, yeah. actually, like, yeah. um, the reason why I wanted to bring in students also is because like I noticed for the C talk, you guys don't really have a lot of audience, even though it's for partners, right? So actually, the idea of bringing in students to increase our audience size is to actually encourage the partners to join as well. Maybe like the partners don't want to be the one or two extra audiences inside the Zoom meeting or whatever. So like maybe if you're in a Zoom room with like maybe like 20 other students, they will be more inclined or motivated to join if you get what I mean. It's like the more um how to say the more noise that is, like the more people are there then they'll be like oh this is interesting i want to join more you know okay because it's yeah. um what is social something effect I forget yeah, something like that yeah. <laughs> I okay, don't know what um, that's actually the, my concern it's not really directly to the output but yes uh if uh jenna explained like that it can also possible but i'm not really sure because this is student and property owner they both actually different like uh the purpose is also different in in the case of life <laughs> students mm -hmm. wants to uh get like i'm not sure but uh let's check uh, and don't forget to have the baseline for measuring the impact okay thank yeah, yeah. thank you please uh, did you get the point from jenna and asa please okay yeah maybe tendy tendy you have any comment for this one no, um, uh, not much. Uh, I think this is also can help for the our existing community expert uh, to keep uh, engaged with them like that. So uh, because I believe uh, we don't have uh, like uh, active engagement with, with the community expert except they have uh, except the owner needs them. But I think by collaborate this. I think they also can share uh, other things to the so we can still keep the, the tune of the engagement. Okay, thank you, Tendi. Maybe do you have any thoughts, Jing? Yeah, I think I think we gotta also realize what the purpose of the C talk is, right? And I think what Jenna is doing is actually pretty interesting. So the purpose of the C talk is actually to look for how do we get referrals to property partners. From community experts okay so we know that there's a few overall ways that we can generate um, let's say inbound leads for new potential partners there's online canvassing there's offline canvassing there's SEO there's all these different kind of digital ways but one of the most important ways that I've always seen people in Bali discover about companies like us is through the word of mouth through trusted partners that they work with right they go to the person who built their house. They go to the person who they've done business work prior to doing business with Buca Vista, and they say, "Hey, by the way, do you know anybody who um, you know I can go to?" Right? By simply, there's two ways that you can go about this. There's the kind of the community way, right, where you just simply like talk to people who are community experts, so that they know what you do. So that, like, let's say they get the opportunity to refer somebody, they'll think of Buca Vista because. I just had that talk with Book of Vista last week, right? So one, I think that's a community expert engagement program to keep them engaged. The second, you can be a bit more proactive to like bring them here, have them have a quick talk, and then, but the end result, I think should be, we should be seeing a uh, development of leads and lead generation come out of this program. So that being said, the end client of this program actually should be the, I guess the business development team, Wayan and Nadine, right? Um, they're the ones that actually should start saying, okay, all right, if this program is working well, um, where are the leads, where are the new referrals coming in uh, from this thing? But I think Jen is pretty ambitious. She's going to try to connect students to property partners and all this in a, in a, in a topic. It's, uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see what happens, yeah. 
Okay, thank you, Jinx. Anything else from the members? No? Yes, who's on the um, Rafik, yeah. uh, so Rafik, about engagement, uh, I have like uh, other idea also uh, yeah. to make session again with our community expert uh, mm -hmm. via Spotify, Spotify podcast. So we make like other topic with uh, GFB architects, like like other topic, new topic with GFB architect. So conduct meet, conduct a meeting, uh, but only our our voice to record it and post in uh, Spotify pod, uh, podcast. What do you think? Uh, yeah, uh, that is exactly. Uh, action right so you can you can have a sub discussion with asa for the next action so you can try it first no problem it's uh fail fast if you want to uh make it on spotty podcast or maybe on the uh youtube podcast no problem as long as it's good for the engagement that is from from me okay uh we still have Four minutes, so I will uh, update very quick for X member. What is called personal update. So from Teddy, do you have any update from this one from your all card, or you want to talk? Okay, thank you. Um, uh, on just on the first class, uh, first card for the cleanliness class. So okay, I have uh got to stop for uh do the cleanliness uh and shooting this week so for uh, that's first uh andre from the play Lapa, and then arianta for uh, with the lot six and then uh i i would like to contact uh, the host gembala staff for the skill set using the chemical and tools i think because they have the uh, good uh, reviews for the cleanliness so maybe i need uh, one of the Panam Nejar in Jogja to help uh, with that, and also uh, Ardi Kubu Nyang Nyang uh, for the cleanliness SOP because they also have a good uh, standard in the Uluwatu, and then also Villa Drua Trainee uh, because they have a good uh, self appearance, uh, they have the uh, good uniform and then the hair and everything. Uh, so I I will choose uh, the trainee itself, and then also the next. Uh, Plan is outreach the trainer uh, for the schedule the shooting and then meeting result for the best concept and uh, to make the technical shooting trainer. Like thank you. Okay, thank you, Tendi, for the update. And if any want to have a comment or advice, maybe you can write down on the uh, trailer card of Tendi, right? To okay. Uh, next to my side, I don't have any update. Only update for the. The coming program still one is Prama Beach. It's a little bit old school member, so I need to read to them all the time. I go there three times or four times, it's never there. I call, but the deadline is I, I hope it's today I go there with Tipta as well, with Tendi as well, and also about the quality control with them as well. That is from my side. And Asa, you have any update from your? specific uh, okay. personal here maybe for our welcoming program okay is that i'm um, wait scroll yeah. down yes okay so the update is that amarta amarta martman has already registered for business wi-fi installation and the owner is still waiting for the installation from the is it, tukangnya and then the heart residence on june 26 has already ordered equipment and the casa bustamante is still under renovation so the welcoming program will be started after the renovation and the same friction super slow response from the owner of heart residence and the next action plan is to follow up for the wi-fi installation and equipment for higher residents and follow up renovations to start recommend program and for the higher residents i have also asked um for help from Oyana, so we follow up the owner 
from both of us. Maybe that's from me. Okay, thank you, Asa. Waiting for the update, yeah, from mm -hmm. uh, that uh, properties. And then next to Ross, you get one minute, Ross. Okay, Which one uh, you want to update? Yeah, so about the comfort property, uh, already complete sampling uh, for partners to partners from Jogja and to partner from Bali. Uh, I have the conclusion about persona comfort. Can you open uh, the com the comments? Of yeah, just the comments? wait a moment. <laughs> it's okay. a bit lagging. Yeah. Uh, this one? The, no, no, uh, in the comment. Yeah, yeah. This card, I mean. Hmm, see, di bawah Om di dalam komentar. Um, no komentarnya. Okay, here yeah. my conclusion for partner of comfort property. Average age is 25 until 30 years old, and uh, because uh, the for for partners uh, the sample uh, to people from Jogja have same job related to property. It is interior design and homeware decoration. Meanwhile, to Balinese, to Balinese partner have job that not related with property. Device use is Android. Another touch point is they will uh, uh, search about property management service first through Google and check uh, the their website. And partner motivation is good communication. Pricing strategy is always discussed with partners. And if you have good image on a TA, especially on Airbnb. And about the frustration is uh, from Bali is different, but from part of Jogja, same frustration. Uh, it is unsuitable guest complaints. And right time is Jogja partner is morning to afternoon. And also Bali too. Uh, right channel is WhatsApp. Yeah, this from me about comfort property persona. Okay, thank you, uh, Ross. I have some.